I do mean that. I really actually do like my CS degree. And the reason why I like getting a CS degree is that it taught me foundation. There's two, th there's two main reasons why I think a CS degree is actually really, really good. Number one, you're going to be forced to learn things and do things that are really not that applicable, but really expand what you see is available in computer science in general. And those things that aren't applicable in the immediate, like 10 years down the line, you're going to find times you look back and go, wow, that was really valuable knowledge. This is really foundational stuff that I find very nice. And number two, the thing that I really like is that it's not efficient. It gives you four years to get to the point of being a good programmer. And I think that's extremely important because so many people want the six month path to success. I hate to tell you this, there's no six month path to success. Now that may have existed right after COVID where, where every company was hiring like wild, but guess what? They also all got absolutely canned and things are terrible and it just doesn't work that way. Six months to success is just not gonna happen. In fact, I was even talking with this with my wife yesterday. There's Right now there's a huge deficit in trade workers. Trade workers right now are getting paid somewhere between 50 to $100 an hour for tearing out carpet, for things that don't require a ton of skills and then carpentry gets paid even more and even more and here's the deal is there's a lot of people that are starting to go into these trade jobs that are discovering that when they're young and brand new to these trade jobs people don't want to hire them it's the exact same thing that's going on with computer science or software engineering which is to be good at a trade you have to do it for 10 years and it's not like that thing is it's not like a trade is complicated in the same sense of, of software engineering, but to be good at your craft takes a long ass time and you should expect nothing less of something that has a huge mental requirement to get into. So if you think that you can't be great at a trade without seeing someone do it for many, like a decade, you, you think you're going to be good at something that's intellectually very complicated and you're going to be good at it in six months? No. That's why those four years are so important. You get this slow time and if you're using that time efficiency, efficiently, you're asking the questions. You get all of the most amazing like information, people to work with. You just get like the ideal environment to become good at something that takes time. I didn't say it's the fastest. I'm not saying it's the most complete. I'm not saying it readies you for the best, being the most effective software engineer in the moment, but you're in a place with a bunch of people that are in all the same classes as you, that are all at your same level, that are all trying to learn together. You get to have competitions. You get to do all these kind of things. It's a requirement that you get a bunch of foundational knowledge. And even the best part about the whole thing is when you're a junior and a senior, they do career fairs. Companies that actually are coming in going, I want to hire an idiot. I am willing to hire an idiot and give them six weeks of training on our software just to come work with us for another six weeks over the summer. Yeah, we won't pay you that great, but we will pay you some money. Like it is, it's a pretty dang ideal environment for all these things. Anyway, so that's why I think a degree is valuable.